Hey guys, Deviator here. In this video we're going to be going over creating animated materials using flipbooks. Flipbooks are an easy way to create an animation using sprite sheets. Uh, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is create a material. I've created one here, I've just named it Animated Material 01. Uh, we're going to change a couple of the base settings here. Our blend mode we want to change to additive, lighting model unlit, and we want this to be two-sided. We're going to start up by grabbing a texture sample. And the texture we're going to load up is called Warp. I'll upload this texture so you guys have it available. Um, if you open it up real quick and take a look, um, you can see this is your basic sprite sheet here. Uh, we have four rows and four columns. Um, what, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take a little screenshot of each one of these images and put them together in a sequence and play that. Uh, so if you hop back in our material editor, we're going to grab a node called Flipbook. This is what's going to allow us to grab those little pictures and play them in a sequence. Uh, we're just going to plug UVs from Flipbook into UVs from Texture Sample. And we'll plug our Texture Sample into our Emissive Color. Uh, once we do that, you'll see uh, we have an animation going already, um, though it's nothing close to what we want. Um, the reason why it's so wild and crazy like this is we actually need to specify um, where our animation cells are and how many of them we have. Uh, so on Flipbook, uh, the second and third pin down, you'll see number of rows and number of columns. We want to set those values. Uh, so we're just going to grab a constant. And our texture, we have four rows and four columns. So we're just going to set the value to four and plug that in for rows and columns. And we'll just hit apply here. Um, and once that applies, uh, you'll see we have our animation. Uh, pretty simple. Um, one other thing we can do is we can adjust the play speed for this. Um, so what we'll do is we'll grab our time. And of time, we want to use frac. And we're going to take our frac and we're going to multiply that by another constant. And for the time being, we'll just set that to 1. Move this up here. And if we plug that multiply into our animation phase, you will see... Um, actually, you shouldn't see a change at all because I believe the default is 1. So let's go ahead and change that to, let's say, 5. We want to speed it up quite a bit here. Um, once we change that to 5 and it applies, um, you'll see the animation plays quite a bit faster. So you can use those settings to um, change the speed of your animation uh, depending on the type of texture you're using and whatnot. Um, so that's it for a basic uh, flipbook texture. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know uh, in the near future. I will make another video going through some more advanced features of the flipbook. Thanks.